Okay. Well, I wanted to ask, now can these tarot cards be uh, misused? Can they be used incorrectly by someone? If they don't understand the definitions, they can be. Um, there are people who are novices with them, and sometimes it has a tendency to uh, misdirect the information. Or people, I've seen people use them for spite so that the definitions are incorrect. Can they be misinterpreted? Many times, yeah. How yeah. accurate is your, one of your readings? I... Would you say? <laughs> without being too... <laughs> patting myself on the back. Um, I, I've had people come back six months later and tell me that things have happened. Okay. So, so you find them to be more accurate than not? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I've been doing this for 18 years, reading the tarot, so... Um, now, do you prefer when someone asks you a question, or do you like to just uh, volunteer the information? Why don't we try volunteering the information? Okay. We'll see. Okay, <laughs> we'll do that. It, since I'm on the spot here. Okay. <laughs> um, the first card, what this is called is Celtic Cross, and these first two cards are the present situation. And a lot of people look at the death card as a bad thing, and it really isn't. All it talks is about transitioning your life. And when we're afraid to face that transition, it makes our lives a lot harder, especially when you keep on looking back. Because when you look back, it creates that energy to be stagnant. And I think you know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Because you keep on looking back, and you can't move forward. It's sort of like you're walking into that door and can't look beyond it. And you've had so many dreams that you've put into motion. Mm -hmm. But again, it goes back to the point where there's been this, it's not like this door has been shut time and time and time again. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Within the last 10 months or so, a lot of the energy that's built up this wall has completely and totally been removed from you. And it's almost like everything that stopped you has fallen by the wayside more recently, and it's almost like you can say hallelujah, I'm free. <laughs> um, when, and that was more recently, but when you get to the top of the reading, it's the best that you can arrive at. The Three of Pentacles is a card of success, and the Three of Pentacles is a card that talks about um, ultimate success. So when you're having those days where you want to bury your head and just say, I quit, mm -hmm. remember, that you've got something going for you. Okay. And that within three months, that ultimate dream that you've been chasing is going to come. Just, you're going to feel like you've been swept off your feet. Um, and then these two cards are something that's going to get you through those hard nights. You've got the stars, and the stars says that within about a year and a half, you're going to have that change, a very, very major change. But I also feel like there's another problem that you're dealing with mm -hmm. subsequently to being able to move on. There's a communication level where you're here and it's sort of a stepping stone and you want it to be on the same level. Mm -hmm. I think with the changes that you're going through, eventually that's going to change as well. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yes. Do you know what I mean? It's sort of like... Yeah. Okay. Way you need to do, and I think, I hope you will do, is that your friends and your family are telling you that this is something that needs to be. Sometimes we have a problem struggling with things because we're not sure why it has to happen. Instead of letting go, we hold on to it. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of heartache because the Three of Swords is always the card heartache, mm -hmm. especially when you've got people who are telling you that it's happening for a reason. And I would guess that you would tell me, you tell him, anybody around you, that your friends have always said the same thing. Trust and love is what you need right now. Yeah. Right? Would that be fair? Yes. Okay. Do you have any questions for Raven Wolf? Um, I'm, I'm about to finish what he's. Oh, okay. What do you think? Pretty good. Thank you. Seems good. Oh, cool. Okay. <laughs> I like it so far. Okay. Do you have anything great. else you want to uh, <laughs> tell him from his cards? Well, everything's sounding pretty good, you know. 
I, I want to let him finish the reading first. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. And Sam, that's why I wanted to answer your question about bringing people up because it's a job. And I want to leave people, <clears throat> excuse me, feeling empowered. All right. And as a counselor, as a healer, as whatever you want to call it, that's my job to do. Um, around hopes and fears, it's a double edged sword, literally. You're holding on way too much to the restrictions that are around you. Mm -hmm. And that's going to hurt you in the end. You're not seeing clearly about what you can do and what you have. Okay. And it goes back to being able to communicate. And instead of just shutting down, because I can see you shaking your head, and it gets to the point where it starts to get really frustrating and irritating and loud. Yeah. Right? Yeah. OK. <laughs> just wanted to make sure. Um, we all sort of have to back off from that mm -hmm. and just let it be because it doesn't do any good to yell and to get yourself in that position. You've got to hold on to that dream like you're holding on to your life. Okay. Crossroads, you know, bone thugs in harmony. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you've got the final outcome. And when you've got the card in the position that's in the Queen of Pentacles, mm -hmm. it's a card that says that no matter what happens from this point forward, if you take that one chance to be free, you're going to have that freedom. And it means that a whole lot of security is going to come your way. Okay. And it usually represents, when you've got the queens in that position, it usually represents about within a year. And things are going to change and change drastically for you. Well, that sounds like some good stuff. Now, can you answer a career question for me now? Anita? For you? Absolutely. Yeah, I want to know what's going to happen with a career. <laughs> we're running out of time. But Sorry. Maybe um, a, quick, uh, a quick reading, super quick reading. Super quick reading? <laughs> tell, you what, <laughs> tell you what, I'll do the horseshoe for you. And okay. actually, I did a quick reading for you last night. Okay. And I wanted to give you some advice. Okay. <laughs> you have a tendency to look back uh -huh. as much as you don't want to, mm -hmm. that's affecting your career. Okay. And you're caught between a rock and a hard place right now. Okay. And I think what's going to wind up happening is that looking back is going to cost you more in the end, and that's not a place you want to be. Okay. I think you know what I'm talking about here. Yeah. Yeah, I know you do, because of a certain relationship. Mm -hmm. right? And I'm going to do this really quickly. It's also creating an emotional drain on you. And that was actually what I was going to talk to you about today at some point. Okay. Because I saw it, and I saw the dichotomy between what you want and what you're putting up with, the two. Okay, well, we'll talk about that a little <laughs> more later, I guess. <laughs> thank you very much, thank Raven you, Wolf. We'll be talking after the show. Yes, sir. Thank I'd you. like to thank all my guests today for, for being on a good show today. I thank you so much for watching. I thank Timmy and Zeb out there, and I'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Watch True Talk, <laughs> Tuesdays at 8 p.m., Thursdays at 7 a.m. See you later.